I'm going to try and actually keep it short. Uh, one of the things I've been talking about uh, since I've been up there is economic development for Gary County. We know we need it. We have a large job rate. On the table there, you can see what we have for the official unemployment rate for this county, which is 5.9%. And that was as of the 28th of January. So these are very, very up-to-date figures. This is only for those who are actually filing for unemployment. This does not cover those who have exceeded their time on uh, are not going unemployment anymore. I also have a bill, and it's listed under Senate bill, that was put in in 2012, <clears throat> that the long-term unemployment cannot be discriminated against when they go for work. A lot of companies will not hire anybody who's been out of work for six months or more. So we're working to fix that up. Uh, on economic development, I talked with the chair of the Federal and State Affairs Committee face-to-face, -face, personally on this, and with the governor Thursday night about trying to get a casino here in Gary County. I've got two bills in there. One <clears throat> will bring a fifth casino here. The other one I submitted last year, but we didn't have a hearing on, <clears throat> that would take the fourth casino from southeast Kansas. They haven't done anything with it for seven years um, to bring that up here. And I put an amendment to that original bill that uh, would allow the state or state tax money or revenue from the casino to go back down to that area for economic development. And it would only be spent 10% for five years, 5% for five years. <clears throat> that would only be spent upon receipt of the cost of what they're doing on economic development. It will not just be given down there to be spent on whatever. Okay, there would be things with it. Uh, also, uh, co-signed on a bill to grant 100% uh, sales tax or ta sales tax relief for 100% disabled veterans. And I also put an amendment on it that uh, any current legislator who would meet that criteria will not be allowed to use it. That way, nobody can ever say veterans in the in the legislative process did something for their own benefit. And I'd like to see that in other areas, but hopefully we put a template up there that uh, if it's good for veterans, it should be good for any other organization or structures. Uh, also, um, one of the things we're taking a look at here is um, working on a headcount for the number of illegal students that are in our state. The bill is in there, and what this bill will do, and it's numbers only, there's no names, no addresses, no telephone numbers, no pictures, it's not identified by school district, and not identified by county. Nor will this stop these students from getting an education. All this is is the numbers for the taxpayers to know where their money is going to. The state will add those figures up, can be sent to my email. It's not a report or you know, a technical report, just numbers, okay? We'll just say Gary County, we got 500 illegals. 525. The state will add all that up and they will multiply by a factor of what the taxpayers in the state pay. So if it's 12,500, take the figure, multiply it times 12,500, and that's what uh, the state taxpayers' money is being converted to. I always felt we should take care of our citizens first. We're not going to discriminate against them, we're not giving names, but the taxpayers need to know where the money is being converted to.